To me, the most interesting thing is taken what was a very successful stage play, mainly successful and famous for its puppetry, and he took the puppets away, and still made a great film out of it. So, uh, so why is that? I goes, I suppose it's uh, the audience's, the public's response to, uh, you know, the themes of, 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 of loyalty and friendship and finding home again. I'm very proud to be in the movie. I'm always very proud to, um, you know, be on a red carpet. It's always a bit of an honour to, to do this. A bit weird, I always find it. Not quite natural. Um, uh, and, yeah, very, very nice that some royals are coming to see it. I grew up watching Spielberg. I'm 48, and so I've, I'm kind of his main audience from Jaws when I was 14, I think. And um, that I was... Well, pretty obsessed with Jaws when I was a kid and long before I ever thought of being an actor so all these years later to be on a film set with and look behind the camera and see Stephen like this actually holding the camera and directing you is a little surreal and uh, you know really really special really genuinely special I'm in the opening uh, half hour of the film I'm uh, your archetypal villain I'm uh, as Stephen said to me he's you know, I'm the I'm the the manipulative, self-seeking landlord, which is a character that goes right back to the days of Chaplin and before. And you know, he just said this. It's exciting to be able to recreate that character. And uh, you know, that was my that was my remit. It was a lot of fun shooting it, as I remember. Um, it was uh, you know we, we struggled with the weather a lot and uh, struggled with the horse a lot. And it been Jeremy's first film and. It was the start of filming, and so no one was too sure if it was all going to work. So it actually felt a little bit like the scene, rooting for Jeremy, rooting for the horse, rooting for everybody on the film at that point.